Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 21 of Rustic Waters 2. And before we start, if anybody knows why animals like the passive mobs in your base get these particle effects, please let me know because I don't know. I noticed it with Devaria that um they always get them and now I've logged on and Wolfie here has. Um, Cujo was, had disappeared when I came in. Because I left him sitting here. And when I logged on the first time, I could see the name tag, but nothing. I couldn't interact with them, anything. Then I logged out, came back on. And when I came back on, Cujo's name tag was under the stone. So I thought, okay. Went down under the ground, underwater, and I could see the legs sticking out from tiles but nothing else. So I went and excavated the tiles around Cujo. Then um, the tiles started, then Cujo started suffocating. And then I managed to get the tiles from around the head and then they were fine. So I don't know. It's a bit random. This game has some really strange glitches sometimes. Anyway, that's not what I had planned to start off with. But, um, but yeah, uh, I've already told you guys welcome. And we've said which number we're on, which is 21, which I find hard to believe, but there you go. Um, yes, particles, if anybody knows why um, passive mobs get these uh, particles, I'd be very happy. Uh, what did I do? Um, I reorganized my storage drawers. Um, because it was a bit of a mess, so I reorganized everything. So now we have these uh, these gold chests full of stuff. Okay, I think these end ones are all empty. Yep. All right. Um, I made a draw controller because I suddenly realized I can make a draw controller because I'd been to the nether and I had um, nether quartz. So I made a draw controller. So I've connected all of my drawers. I also made a key so that I could lock all the drawers. So now when I have stuff coming in, um, if it doesn't already have a drawer, it will go into the gold chests instead. Uh, what else did I do? Um, I set up my kitchen over here. Um, purely because I needed to get... I, I wanted it all in one place. But now all the food is here. Oh, I need to... I do need to um, fill this up with water. Ah, I forgot about that. Right, so um, so yeah, so food is up here. Um, what else did I do? I went to one of the bio. Oh, I switched out the the ground in here for glass, glass, grass. Um, did that. See, look, they've got particle effects as well. I don't know why. Um, I what did I do? I went to a dome, and they had. Um, I went to one that had bees in it. They had some beehives, so I took the beehives and um, transported them. And also under one of the trees, there was um, a bee spawner, so I took it, put it under my tree. So now I've always got bees. Uh, what else? Um, I put a couple more storage tanks to collect the rosin because it was doing pretty well. Um, and it doesn't kill the tree. I thought it would have, but it doesn't. Actually, I need to take these. Um, do I have shears on me? Uh, no, no. And also, you've probably seen all the extra torches. At one point, I came back to the base and I had that stupid lighting glitch. And I just went and put down torches everywhere. I probably didn't need to. Um, I went out exploring. And that's everything that I found. Oh, I've got some 
loot crates. Are the only loot crates I got? Yes. So let's, if you shift and click, that opens the, all the crates in your hand. Uh, capacitor, Mask of Rage, Netherite Leggings, Mechanical Crafter, Flayed, One Perk, and Pathing AE2 Augment. Okay. No, I want that and I want that. Okay, not too bad. Um, I got one of these power power crystal shards from killing a seahorse um so i guess it's useful because you get that you can get the red shards the heart shards from mining how many of those shards do i have though i have three okay um i did do a lot of mining as well over the weekend and um, I got enough to give me three extra hearts, I think, because I think I had two already, two extra ones. So I did lots of mining. Right, um, on to today. Um, I suddenly realised I haven't done this part, this chapter, and I think I should at least start it, at least get the underwater, gr um, the uncrafting grinder. And also do the dictionary thing, because that will probably help with all the different ores and stuff that are in here. So, and those are separate from the main quest line, so I think I should do that quickly before I start. Um, uncrafting, ungrinder. Did I? No, I didn't save it. All right. What do I need? Uh, invar plates, repeaters, wooden ch wooden machine frame, and nope, and two chests. Right, uncrafting grinder. Let's put it down. Probably need. Yes, it needs power. Okay. But does it? All right, let's take this upstairs quick. All right. Oh, um, I think I'd put Invar in here or something. In one of these. I can't remember. I made, I had made them to try different, to do different things. I don't think, I think I'd made it for one video and I don't think I really, um, I don't think I, I actually showed what was in it. Uh, requires redstone, always on. Okay. That is how you make, how you make a barrel. That's not too bad. Can I get back a fence? Is it vanilla stuff? Uh, cannot be cra uncrafted. Okay. Um, that's a gold chest. Let's try it with that. It's a pity. <gasps> oh, wow. Nice. Wait a minute. That was a gold chest, right? You need any kind of glass, because I don't think I had, I made dark stained glass. Ooh. That is, I want, kind of want to put in the pulverizer, but I don't. I like that. Okay. Okay, you get XP for that. And what's this, the ender tanks? Don't need that. And it, yeah, it's just the dictionary I really want to do. Carbon paper. Okay. Right, let's do that. And then I can start on what I really wanted to do today, 
which is Ars Nouveau. Um, dictionary. All right, carbon paper and tin, redstone wire. Uh, no redstone wire. That's redstone round copper. Uh, copper. And redstone. Oh, you get. I keep forgetting you get two for one. Um, all right, what else do we need? Uh, paper and charcoal. Carbon paper. Oh, I remember carbon paper. I'm definitely dating myself now, but I mean, I remember that, you know, carbon paper, for those of you who are young enough not to know, it was, um, you can use it to make, to, to like, to make, co like, it was to make a copy of something, but you could draw on it or you typed on it. Most people would type on it and it would make copies. Like if you had a form that you had to fill out in triplicate, then it would have bits of carbon paper in between so that it transferred to the next sheet. And um, it was the most wonderful thing. I remember my dad used to bring it home from work and, you know, I'd just use it. And, you you know, you make copies of stuff and you draw things and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, you you don't really need that anymore because, you know, you can make photocopies of things and, um. Well, even now, photocopying isn't so much, you know, you just take take a picture of it and, you know, you scan it or whatever. But um, carbon paper, because my dad had a typewriter as well and we used to love using it. It had it. It was in its own little cake, carry case and it was a, like a brown leather carry case. It was really nice. And um, so, yeah, you'd use carbon paper with it. Because shift and end, shift and... Is that a mechanism thing? Okay. A tool used for viewing the tags of various components, such as item blocks and fluid, fluids. Okay, so... Oh! Okay, not sure how you're supposed to use it. Do you shift and... Even the tag... Okay, so I'm guessing you click on things no oh okay oh so you don't click on something so for example if I put ah if I put the gold oh okay so this is like um Oh, uh, what is it? Um, F. Uh, F three and G, I think it is. That gives you the tags, in um in in J E I. It's the same thing. So yeah. So when you see the tags, I'm here holding the cursor over copper, and it's giving me all those tags. You have to put in the. Usually, you don't get that in J E I. I just have that in so I can see what different things are. And so the dictionary does that for you. Okay, so it. So if I sh oh, okay, so if I shift and click, I get this this GUI. I can put something there, and then it will tell me what it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I can see what it is. Right, I don't have anything. Okay, all right. Uh, what's the next thing? I don't want that yet. And the or diction, or dictionificator, or dictionary, dictionificator. Okay, this quest will consume the one that you craft and reward you with one that is pre cram pre pre-programmed with many of the most common ingots and nuggets you can also do this in your crafting grid okay um okay so what do you need we need two book and quills 
steel. Is it steel? Yes. Any steel. Two hoppers and a pity machine frame. Okay. So, machine frame, logs. We want four. Can we do four different logs? Um, four iron ingots and a block of redstone. Block of redstone, not four, not four pieces of redstone. <laughs> okay, um, let's try that. Yes, it, no, it took, it took all four. All right. I mean, I guess if it didn't have the other four, it would do that. Okay, so two hoppers, two book and quills. I need feathers. No, can I make feathers? Bald eagle. Uh, do I have... I have one book and quill. I don't even know where that came from. Yeah, I need a feather. All right, so we can't do that then. Okay. I mean, I could make the pit. No, I've made the pity machine frame, hasn't I? Uh, man, that's annoying. Okay. Well, we won't. Won't worry about that now. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? One of those biodomes has chicken, chicken seeds. Let's go get a chicken seed. Um, Cujo, no, I want you to stay here, buddy. Can I drive this through here? No. <laughs> it was worth a try. Okay, where's the chicken in here? That's a sheep. I think you can, yes, you can. Right, like, go. I want the seeds, thank you. Um, ouch. It's ocelot. Oh, you... Right, how do you get the... Ah, there you go. All right, so... There's a cow. What's... Oh, salmon seeds. Okay, well, we don't need salmon seeds. Okay, go on. Move, quick. I want the seeds. Oi! Right. Um, any other seeds? I should take the ocelot seeds. Um, where the ocelot seeds go? All right, you need to move, buddy. Ah, you always started moving. Because I think if you break it and it's already, um, it's already, um, move. It's already growing. Thank you. Then, um, you lose the seeds. Okay, so we got cow, we got chicken. Okay. <laughs> I remember that for that cartoon. That was a funny cartoon. Cod, puffer fish. How do they do we all stand next to them and So like if you Oh okay. Interesting. Right, anything oh okay, you've got really? Alright, maybe we don't need one of you then. I'd forgotten you killed stuff. 
Oh, they can only be planted on mycelium. Have I lost it? Yes. Okay, it's a good thing I did that then. Because I would have gone and planted it on grass. And then we... Yeah, it wouldn't have been funny. I would not have been happy. Okay, mycelium. And there's... Why does it keep saying that? Is it in my hand? Oh, I didn't lose it. Okay. All right, let's get back to... Um... Yeah. Okay, how do we make mycelium? And also, well, if I get some fences, I could put them in the back. Okay, Cujo, I'm back. You can run around now. Okay, mycelium. Um, dirt around any coral blocks. Okay, I can do that. If we do... Two blocks, two bits of dirt. That gives us two. Yeah, and I need fence. Uh, oak, we got oak. And also I need something. Um, I get some calf stone turn this into bricks because I want something it's not going to the I don't want the mycelium to take over so um I want some bricks I see if we but if the block is one if it's one wide it might jump it. Right, let's do it this way. Really, Cujo? Come out the way. Seriously. You're in the way. So, if I... I really don't want it spreading across the um, the grass that we have here. In here still looks really dark. I know it's not, but it does. And I still forgot the stupid dirt. What am I looking for? Wait a minute, if I got a... No, there was no thing. Um, dirt. That's what I wanted. We want chicken. No, ocelot. Chicken. Although fully grown is a misnomer, because it's not fully grown. All right, we're going to have to... Do I have seeds? I don't think I have any seeds. And can it get out? I don't think so. I think there's enough of a gap between here that it can't get out. We'll soon see. While we're waiting for that, I can start with ours, which is what I was planning to do in the first place. Um, let me see. Oh, no, we've just got that there. Hi, mechanology. Why? Oh, osmium. Okay. I'll leave that for now. Mr. Cook. Oh, yes, because I've got the Inferium Essence going down in the bottom. Should I? I might as well collect these. I didn't know Mystical, Agricul Mystical Agriculture had a book. Which is cool. Um, Inferium seeds. We get emerald. Nice. And then um, there are armor, weapon, and two options for Mystical. But even these have even... Even these powerful options have stronger counterparts available from other mods such as Draconic Evolution. So they are not explored within this quest chain. If you would like, if you would, however, like to explore the tool options from this mod, follow the link provided from this quest reward. 
Okay. All right, you can infuse your inferior essence using an infusion crystal to get to the next tier of essence prudential. Yeah, because you need, I kind of like um, Mr. Cool Agriculture. I know a lot of people think that it's very OP because you can grow a lot of seeds for different things, but I find it's not that OP because in order to get that, in order to get to that seed, you still need to have some of that thing in the first place. So yes, you can you can grow um like with the with the skeleton seeds, but you need to you know some wither skeleton stuff to make the seeds. So it's it's not that easy. I I like it, but I know other people don't. Um, all of this stuff, I'm not doing that right now because I wanted to do ours. Ours nouveau. Uh, Brand Nouveau, that's it. So, okay. Source gems come from arcane ore. While arcane ore can be found in abundance within the Dark Caverns dimension, you can also find arcane ore within Ars Forest Orbs around the ocean depths. Okay, I've done that. So, we need to make the Worn Notebook, which is a source gem and a book. And we get a mage robe. And we get a mage hood. Right, then we need 64 arcane stone, which I'm pretty sure I have. And that gives us the robes. Then we need a novice spell book, which is a book and a shovel, pickaxe axe and sword okay shovel pickaxe axe and sword three there so shovel pickaxe oh, i missed one axe And I didn't miss one. Sword. And another book. Stick book. <laughs> Sounds like something that it should be a thing. Um, a book. And now we have our novice spell book. So we can make spells using a form. So it would either touch, hold shift, apply spells at a block or the entity that is targeted, self, and it's a spell that start that you start with, apply spells on other car apply spells on the caster. Or projectile, a spell that you start with, summons a projectile that applies spell effects when the projectile hits a block or a target. Sensitive will allow a projectiles to break plants or other materials that do not block motion. Okay, so touch or self or projectile. Okay, so I could have touch and then break and that should break blocks that i i am um, a pointer at okay um pick axe so you can name it something and create it and that's going to be spell number one spell number two so if i use self no, if I use touch and then harm, then that should so then if I put more, that would do more damage, but then that uses up more mana. So if I put two, that should be okay. 
but we need something to test this on. And also, um, B? No. What am I doing? Let's get. How do we get the boots? Oh, we have to make the spell book. Uh, okay. We can do that because I can buy two idle, two activated, activated idols of sacrifice. Do I have any blaze rods? Please tell me I have blaze rods. I have one. Uh, okay. Yay. That was bizarre. Oh, at least we got one. <laughs> If nothing else, we got the one that we needed. All right, let's put you away because I don't need you right now. And we want 220 coins. Um... Ow. Didn't mean to do that. Anyhow, buddy, right. I want activated. Is that a prismary? Oh, it's a diamond hammer. Activated. Yeah. I want two of you. Wrong room. We want this room. I'm going to take down all those vines. They're annoying now. It was nice when there was no greenery, but now we have greenery. I don't need the vines. Um, okay, we need three diamonds and obsidian. And we have the boots. So you build spells by placing glyphs in the slots of your spell book. A form glyph always goes first to determine whether the spell is projected, applied to self or targeting a block or an entity. And after that, the effect determine what the spell does and augments alter how those effects behave. Okay, right. Nice. Yeah, that works. Okay, this is a tier two. So I went to, I would look to see what we had. And also I looked, I went out as well to see um, what I could find. Cause you get a lot of these glyphs in chess in the, in the, in the boats. So it's tier one, we can use that. Tier two, one, we can learn that. That's a one to tier one, it's tier two, tier two, one, two, riff of exchange. I wonder what that does. Explosion. That sounds like fun. Okay, then to learn the spells, you just right click them. And it unlocks them and once you have um once you have your spell book on you once you've learnt the spells it will automatically place them in your spell book but then if you had if i unlocked a tier three spell if i didn't have it in my in, on me when i unlocked the spell then it's not going to learn that tier three spell so that's why I didn't take those out. Even if I didn't, even if I had it in like a, um, as long as it's not in my inventory, because it could be in like a, a, a backpack or something. And if it's tier three and I don't have the tier three note um, spell book on me, it's not going to learn it. 
Okay, so if we go into here now, no, not quick select, quick craft. So now these are all the different effects that we've learnt. So harm, we've just put it on. Maybe increase by amplify. I don't think I have amplify though. Yeah, I don't have Amplify. Okay, break. We have... Oh, when they say a spell that you start with, it's one, it's a start, it's one that you already, that you don't have to learn. Uh, causes the caster to place an item from their inventory to a location. Okay, flare. When used on entities that are on fire, flare causes a burst of damage and will spread fire and deal damage to other entities. Does significantly more damage than harm. Hmm. Harvest. You can sow. You can uh, sow crops. Freeze. Freezes water or lava, or slows the target. Explosion. Nice. Dispel. Uh, removes any potion effects on the target. Okay. So I can. Can we use that on ourselves? I wonder. Exchange. When used on blocks, exchanges the blocks on the player's hotbar for the blocks hit as if they were mined with silt touch. Can be augmented with a AOE area of effect. An amplify is required for swapping blocks of a higher hardness. When used on entities, the location and of the caster and the entity hit are swapped. Okay. Pickaxe. If I use exchange. No, but that didn't exchange anything. That just broke it. Okay. Um. Oh, because, you know, I didn't create it. Note to self, create, do you have to save stuff? Okay. Oh. Okay, so it didn't, it just, okay, so if I had, for example, this dark oak plank, and I use exchange on it, oh, okay, it's like the exchanging gadget. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, place block places block from a caster's inventory if a caster is not if a caster's if a player is casting this the spell will place box blocks from the hot bar first okay again a bit like it's like a wand or something snare stops entities from moving and jumping extend time oh Okay, so that I can take off. But then, so we've got one, two, so three. Projectile. Snare. Create. Okay. Our chicken should be... How do we know that's work though? Because you're not exactly. No, let's go up. Uh, that hasn't really done anything. You? No, you just want to trade. Don't know if it's worked on that either. I mean, it's got particles, so that means it's doing something. And of course, now that we want one of those stupid tarantula hawks, which are the bane of my existence.
Maybe if we go in the water? Okay, it does work. I mean, what, what in the, oh, butterfly fish. Took me forever, but you know, I mean, I didn't have the right tools. Why did I think I was missing something? I don't know. Okay, so that, it, that does work. That definitely works. Okay. Um, put the fish in the fridge. Okay. So we've done that. And then it wants two hateful hearts, which I don't have. Okay, augments can be used after form glyphs to alter the form's actions. For instance, in the below example, the spell represents a projectile that has been augmented to pierce enemies. It applies wither with an extended duration as it passes through them and then strikes them with lightning. Okay, that gives you the glyph of fell. All right, so that's all... I'm going to do today because I've been recording for quite some time. But next episode, we are going to do source link, source jars and stuff so we can start making magic clay and we can make our own glyphs because you can make your own glyphs. And if you, um, J E I, so here you can see all the different glyphs, right? Uh, glyph of underfoot. Oh, we don't. Oh, you don't know what they are. Bounce. Bounce sounds like fun. Oh, there is one that um, magic magic panda. <laughs> no, he's not a magic panda. Yorkshire panda. I don't know where I got that one from. He um, he has one where I think you use bounce and something else. And he uses it to fly. But I can't remember what it is. But if you look at um, what you need, you need the glyph press. And then you put in magic clay and something else. And it will give you that glyph. So you can make it as well. So, for example, this one is a tier three glyph. And you need mythical clay and the glyph of wither in order to make that. Uh, glyph of lightning or oh, looks like fun but we don't have heart of the sea uh, da -da. aquatic I don't know what aquatic does but we'll probably need it we're on the water under after all but I'm pretty sure the um the worn notebook probably explains everything that you need uh, Spirit, all right, aquatic, applies water breathing. There you go. So yeah, this explains everything, what everything does. Evaporate and deletes fluids in an area, which would be good. So we can look at making all of these, all of these um, glyphs. Because once you've unlocked them, you, you, can, you, can make, you, you can use them. And also, what do you need for an Archmage book, which is tier three? Uh, you need two hateful hearts and a totem of undying. Oh, you can buy that with a 20 coin. That's okay. That is okay. But the uh, hateful hearts. Yeah, we're going to have to do some dungeons. Okay. Oh, you know what? Before I go my difficulty is really high which i hadn't actually noticed i mean i knew it was high but i didn't really think anything of it until um it was pointed out to me your difficulty is really really high so um you can buy 
you can buy um the the the, the white hearts to lower the difficulty so i'm going to do that uh where are you you're over here you're hiding so that will be the last thing i promise uh heart there you go difficulty costs 120 coin Okay. It's still kind of high. I don't know why mine is so high though. That's more like it. I honestly don't know why mine is so high. But next episode, we are going to... Let me see. Alright, I want to make these. So at least then we can make more glyphs. And then I can put some proper spells on my spell book. And then we're going to clear some dungeons. I think so that will be the way to go and also this I'm going to um I'm gonna do this off camera and if it's anything in well of course I'll let you guys know what's what's happening with it anyway I will let you guys know you know what the deal with it is and how it works yeah so right so anyway so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode bye bye